Hello, and welcome to this Price of Job tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss how to share your company with other Price of Job users. To set up multiple users, first go to your account menu here in the top right, and then select User Management. Then we can click the plus Add User button to invite a new user. Input the new user's email in the email field, and then click Save. Price of Job automatically checks to see if this user already exists within the system, and sends an invitation to their email address. Currently, we have invited this user to participate with all of our companies, but given them zero permission rights. If we wish to give them permissions to access all of our companies, we can click this entry here for all companies, and this opens the Edit Permissions window. And now we can give our new user permissions to access the various areas of Price a Job, and this would affect all of our registered companies. We can select to give them access throughout all projects, or we can select only specific assigned projects. So by clicking the Assigned Projects drop-down menu, we can see a list of all of our projects by company. So all of our Tribute Builders projects are listed here. And if we scroll down, we'll see our Best Builders projects listed below. So here we might want to give this new user access to several of our projects. Maybe we want to give them access to 23 Sparrow Way and 25 Sparrow Way. We just click on the projects that we wish to add, and those are added to the assigned projects that this user will have access to. If we wish to revoke permission for any of these projects, we just have to click it again, and it's deselected. And then we can select the areas of price of jobs that we wish to give them access to. So for these projects, if we want to give them access to our company setup, including company information, accounting information, default settings, email templates, and manage our report headers, we can click each of these separately as either view or edit permissions. Or if we want to give them access to the complete category, we can just click view or edit here at the top. Now, perhaps we don't want this new user to have access to our company setup, as they'll only be assisting us with these specific projects. In that case, we could probably skip permissions for most of these company functions, but we may want to give them partial access so at least they can view the company information, our to-do list, our resources such as tradespeople and materials, and our plant and fleet managers. And then for the project, we can give them complete access to view the general project details, complete access to view the project management details, but we'll give them complete access to edit all areas concerning the estimate. And they'll also need to be able to view the building regulations and engineering calculations and reports. They won't, however, require access to our accounting, but we can allow them to view the scheduling. Now, if we'll be sharing this exact same set of permissions with other users, what we can do is save these selections as a template by clicking here, Save Template. And we'll just call this Project Assist. And save. And this set of permissions now gets saved as a template. Now, in future, when we have other users, rather than having to select all of these manually once again, we can just use the Apply Template here to apply a general template. And there's already a few templates that exist by default. For example, we have Administrator with All Rights, which gives complete access to all areas of Price a Job. Or we could select View Only, which gives complete access to all areas of Price a Job, but to view only without having any edit permissions. Or we could select the Accountant Template, which gives access to view and edit our company setup, staffing areas, general setup, and general accounting areas of price a job. And of course, our new template that we just saved called Project Assist. And this is the template that we'll use for all of our new users that will be assisting us with these projects. You'll notice that when I applied different templates, that our selection between all projects and assigned projects was changed. So we'll go ahead and change this back to assigned projects for this user. And when we're done, we can click close. And now we see that this user has permission to access all of our companies with 32 different rights. And we can click on this bar again to review what those rights are. Now, if rather than giving this user access to only specific projects, we want to give them access to only specific companies, in that case, what we can do is close this window here. And rather than selecting the permissions for all companies, what we'll do is click the cog icon here in the action column and add company permissions. And here we can select which company we wish to give them permissions for. And we have two registered companies on our Price of Job system, Tribute Builders and Best Builders. So we'll go ahead and give this new user permissions to access our Best Builders projects. Now, out of the Permissions column, 
We can select this company here rather than all company where they have 32 rights. Currently they have access to our best builders company, but zero permissions. So we'll go ahead and click on this line here. And this opens the permissions editor for our company best builders. And now rather than assigning them only specific projects, we'll give them access to all projects and we'll just give this user complete administrative rights to all projects for this company. And again, if we wanted, we could assign them only specific projects, but in this case, we'll assign all. And we have a variety of different templates that we can choose from, or we could customize a template and save a new one if we wanted. In this case, we're happy with this setup, so we'll go ahead and close this. And we'll see now that this user has permission to access our best builders company with 78 rights assigned to access all areas of price a job. Now we'll notice that the user still has a pending status, and that's because they have not replied to their email as of yet. But when they check their email, this is the invitation that they will receive. The email will come from support at priceajob.co.uk and will explain that they've been invited to join a team. If they wish to accept the invitation and create an account, they can click the button here. And they will be brought to Price a Job where they can either log in or sign up. Price a Job makes it easy to do so by using either your Google or Facebook credentials, or you can sign up using an email and password. And once they create the account or log in, they'll receive an invitation pop-up asking if they accept the invitation for collaboration. They can either decline, cancel, or agree. In this case, we'll click agree. And when they do, you'll see their status is updated on your user management page to accept it. Now, if they're already subscribed to Price a Job, they may already have their own license. But if not, you can issue them one of yours. To do so, click the cog icon here in the actions column and select a license. And if you have any extra user licenses to share, you can select one from your list and assign it to this new user. And now this user has an all-inclusive license with access to 32 areas for all companies. And if we click on this, we'll just refresh our memory to see that they have project assist access to these two projects. And complete administrative rights to access all areas of our best builders company. If we wish to revoke this license, we can click the three dots here to open the option and just cancel that to remove that license. But we'll go ahead and leave that awarded. And if we wish to revoke their permissions for either of these, we can either select that company and change their permissions, or we can click the three dots here to delete their access to this company. Or we can click the action icon to delete this user altogether. Now to view the available licenses that we have, we can click the Licenses tab here in the top left corner. And we see that this account actually has three licenses available. Our primary license, which is assigned to our account. License number two, which we've assigned to the new user. And a third license, which is still available. If you need to purchase extra licenses, you can do so by clicking the Shop icon here. And then here in the bottom right corner, you can select how many users you wish to add, with options available from one to ten users. So if you need to add several users, you can do so. In this case, we'll just add one extra user. We see the cost of that is an additional £89 per month. And then we agree to the terms and conditions, which says that only a maximum of three devices are allowed per user, with only one device allowed per user at a time. And effectively, what that means is that if you're currently logged in on one device and then log in on another, you'll be automatically logged out of the first device. Your subscription will auto-renew every month, or if you select Annual, it will renew every 12 months until you cancel it. And you can click here to see the full terms and conditions. Once you're satisfied, you can check out, which is a simple process. And now when your new user logs into their Price of Job account, they will have access to your various companies according to the permissions that you've given them. So for example, they'll be able to access Best Builders and they'll have access to all projects. And they can open this up and the complete estimate is here for them to review or edit with full access to all the reports and quotes and everything else imported directly into their account. And that's how to share your various companies with other users. Thank you for using Price a Job.